Hi everyone. Welcome back to Sun Arts. If you're new, welcome to the family. DIY number 1. For this I'm going to take one of this beautiful heart-shaped sign. It's a wooden sign. And I'm going to paint in one of this section the color that I'm actually thinking of. For that I'm removing the plastic casing around it. It actually came in a good packaging. And also you see that the flower is also covered with the cute cup. Now I removed that tag and I'm going to use it again. So I'm going to remove this XOXO sign and I'm trying to scrape it down and I'm going to paint it white chalk paint on top of it. The red is you know too bright there. So I'm going to paint this red apple folk art uh, paint on that one of the white surface there. And that way it just gives like, you know, red apple and then you have like satin pink and the nice beige and white i just had like one quick paint because i also wanted to show that nice wood grain and i'm going to stick this exo exo sign back it is dried well now so i'm going to exactly you know cover the same spot that it i pulled it off from so it is as though you know it never came out I'm loving this so far so I'm going to attach this tag back again into it so I'm going to now decorate this with uh, some ribbon decor so I have few choices with me I got this couple of velvet ribbons from Dollar Tree white and red and some pink florals on pink satin ribbon so I'm thinking which one to go with and I finally got uh, obsessed with the same mesh ribbon again now in red tone so i'm just taking like uh, four inches of it and then i'm just circling it pinching in the center and circling it with uh, one of this pink satin ribbon which has got red flowers everywhere and that's exactly going with the color scheme that i'm planning to go with today and i attach with a dab of a hot glue around the pinched surface and i'm sticking it in an angle on top of the tag just like that using dab of a hot glue of course i have to wear my finger protector <laughs> so there you have your cute bow and i'm also going to not leave it there i'm going to scissor it down to it give like a more uh, fluffy and uh, you know rustic kind of a bow over there i think i should stop decorating this so i'm loving this so far so what do you think about this yet let me know on to diy number two for this i got this beautiful wooden sign from michael's i think it was for a dollar and it's actually a very uh, good size for a dollar so i went with the pink uh, chalk paint that i always use art minds pink chalk paint and i'm just painting one coat i thought i'll go with all pink then i decided i should also do the gradient over here so i'm taking this uh, black tape and I also had an option of doing the masking tape. The masking tape was a little wider for me. So I went with this black tape so I can get all four colors that I'm actually planning over here. I left the space for the top and I masked the two layers, one below. And I'm taking this beautiful folk art red apple paint and I'm going ahead and painting it all the top surface just like so. I didn't leave any spot even the sides so when you are turning the sign on the sides it still should show the exact color like you see over here. I'm trying not to miss any spot around that sign. Now the red apple paint is completely dried and I'm going with the Ceram Coat Salmon Pink paint and I'm going to paint that one below the red. So I'm going to take off the second tape and that is the area I'm going to paint carefully so I don't disturb the red paint. And I was thinking about uh, taping that red surface but again I'm scared that it will pull off some of the red paint so I'm carefully doing this if you want you can basically tape it and do it but i'm going to go and carefully do it over here so the red paint stays safe and my pink salmon paint comes just below that just like so i'm going to let it dry and after it is dried 
and the next layer of paint that i'm going with is art minds pink chalk paint and i'm going to carefully draw i don't know for some reason i was supposed to put the tape in there but i was eyeballing and i'm going my way for how much ever i want that pink line to go and it's exactly it luckily it just came with the right size of the you know paint that i want to go over there now for the fourth one i went with this bright yellow paint and i'm taking a dab of it on the tag and i usually don't throw these tags and i'm using that as a painting palette and after it is soiled then i'm going to throw it anyway so i wanted to use it before i throw it so i'm just mixing this bright yellow paint with a little bit of white i don't want to look the yellow too bright there so i went with a little toned down yellow and i'm painting the last line with the yellow color just like so this is how it looks after all the four colors have gone into this love signs you have to let me know what you think about it on to diy number three for this one i have this a pair of a wooden heart they come in two one is pink and one is red i'm going with this pink one and and I'm using this pink face fillers and I'm just attaching it using a little bit of a heart glue around the heart shape. And I'm going to work my way all around the heart one by one, just like so. And I ran out of light pink, so I'm going with this dark pink and I just filled everywhere that it needs to be. And I am taking this uh, masking tape. I took a small piece and I measured the length that I have to you know, leave on the top. Now I'm just going and attaching the next layer with this masking tape, just like that. So, and I'm going with, uh, I don't know for what reason I went with this pink chalk paint. I wanted to go with this red apple paint, but I'm doing the pink paint over here. And then I realized that I should you not know, start with red apple paint on the top and I just covered that with the red apple paint as a top layer. Now I'm taking a piece of that masking tape and I attach so I get the right width to paint the next paint. So I'm taking this ceram coat salmon pink paint again and I'm painting it in the next layer just like that. And I made sure I didn't leave any spot even in the gaps of this uh, waste filler and this is completely dried now i'm going with the next layer so i'm going to do the same trick attach a small piece and get, cover the next layer just like that and i'm going with this uh, chalk paint pink like i did before and this is dried now i'm going with the last layer which is bright yellow and i'm going to paint the rest of the surface with this yellow paint i'm just loving the color combination already this is such a beautiful gradient paint effect over there. So this is how it looks guys after it is done. And I'm going to attach this on top of this frame. And this frame has one of this lace tissue paper in between two glasses. And for the elevation I'm using one of this water bottle caps. And I'm giving like a hot glue around it. And I'm trying to place it in a triangular form so that this beautiful heart goes on top of it. So I'm taking a dab of a hot glue on those caps and placing this beautiful heart on top of it. So what do you think? I'm just loving this. On to DIY number four. This is not actually a DIY, it's a quick hack. I'm going to use one of this beautiful dusty pink candle from Dollar Tree, which has got like home letters inscribed on it. I'm taking this satin ribbon with the red flowers spread everywhere. So I'm just bending it in half. So it just exactly sits in the gap of the uh, you know, mouth of the jar. And I'm going to circle it around with a dab of a hot glue in between. And I'm going to stick that. And I also wanted to give like a cute bow, but I also don't want to cover the letters. So I'm going with a thin, small bow which is just on the top of the jar. So for this, I'm taking two pieces of uh, same ribbon and I'm going to, you know, bend it in half and uh, attach it with a dab of a hot glue like you're seeing there.
Now both the pieces are ready so I'm going to stick on top of each other with a little bit fluffing over there <laughs> and I'm going to attach this with a dab of a hot glue and these two are going to be attached on the top of the satin decor that we made over there and I'm not going to stop over there <laughs> I'm also going to give some you know pink pearl these are my next set of uh, gradient effect Valentine DIYs that I wanted to share with you all today and let me start with this beautiful love sign I got this from Michaels for a dollar or something and I painted red apple salmon pink and a nice uh, satin pink and bright yellow with a white background so it's so gorgeous I'm just loving this you to let me know what you think also and this is a beautiful sign from Dollar Tree which is already pre-made all I have to do is add a patch of red apple color over here it's got like beautiful wood grain effect to it and nice beautiful pastel colors and I didn't do much I painted this XOXO that was in bright red I converted that into a white with the white chalk paint and uh, one of this beautiful mesh ribbon bow and I tied with one of this beautiful satin pink ribbon and that's just the bow decor for this piece and that's all it needs it's already there pre-made <laughs> uh, that is also another piece that is going along with this uh, gradient paint valentine decor so the next one is this gorgeous heart and I stuck with all the vase filler different sizes and I painted the same colors apple red salmon pink satin pink and yellow and I stuck it with one of this already a picture frame where I had the lace background and I'm using this for several projects and this is one of it I'm in love with so you have to let me know what you think about this as well and this is also going along with this gradient paint valentine decor pieces and this is just an extra addition and it's got this beautiful pink tone and I attached this pink satin ribbon with florals red flowers that are going along with this colors theme of the whole project and I made like a two tiny bows to top on each other and some pink bead decor on top that's all it needs and that's just a quick hack I would say I won't call it DIY <laughs> and these are a few of the beautiful ombre effect gradient paint valentine DIYs that I wanted to share with you all today I hope you enjoyed watching and working along with me and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet I hope you would consider subscribing liking and sharing and thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you again.